You asked for it, so we're doing it. Let's get ready to talk all about stabilizers in machine embroidery. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. If that's for you, consider subscribing to this channel for all that and more. And when I first got my embroidery machine, this is the Brother PE800. I do have a series of videos on it and various projects. If you wanna check them out, I was pretty confused and baffled about which stabilizers to use with different types of fabric and which projects, different weights. It was kind of confusing, but I think after I've had the machine for a few months, I have a few more things figured out. So I wanted to share it with you and we're gonna go over some of the projects I've done. Now I have eight different types of stabilizer. Actually, I think a few of them are repeats, but I'll go over them, explain what they do and why I bought them. I picked up this starter kit for embroidery machines that came with bobbin thread. It came with a lot of different colored threads for embroidery and it also came with four different types of stabilizer. So they all came in packages like this. What I did was when I opened these, I saved the label and then I tucked it inside the roll so that I wouldn't forget what type of stabilizer it was because some of them look very similar and it can be pretty easy to confuse one for another. So for instance, this one, I believe this is tearaway stabilizer. So again, Pro tip, save the label and keep them inside the roll. And these are made for five by seven inch hoops. You can cut these here and then they'll fit very nicely over the this size hoop. You can also cut them to be smaller. Anything bigger than that, you probably wanna get a larger roll of stabilizer. So I will use tearaway stabilizer for things that I'm going to be sewing and also things that aren't going to be washed very often or ever. Like say I embroider a monogram on something that will be a purse or a zipper pouch. Again, not a project that you're going to be throwing in the washing machine all the time because you do tear off the back of this and there is some residue, like there is some leftover. So if you want a project where the back needs to look pretty neat this is probably not the right stabilizer for that. But this does say it's recommended for medium to heavyweight fabrics in dense embroidery designs. Can be torn away in either horizontal or vertical directions. And with most of these stabilizers, you can actually double up the layers. There's all different types of weights for stabilizers, but if you don't wanna buy all of the weights, you can just do two layers or even three layers. I did use this on a few shirts early on, but then I switched to cutaway stabilizer because I found I liked it more. And I used this on towels. I don't think this was the right stabilizer for towels. The next type that I have been using is cutaway. Now I did mention this. So this was also in my Embroidex starter kit. It's a 10 inches by five yards. This is a permanent stabilizer. So it's good for clothing and it's also good for apparently knits, fleece, denim, fabric that is unstable, moves or distorts when tugged in. So this is a great choice for knit fabric for sure. This for clothing, I've embroidered some men's woven dress shirts. I've also embroidered some t-shirts and other like knit items and this stuff works great. If you do have a dense design, again, you can double up the layers of this and it works pretty well. I did that for a fairly large design I did on t-shirts. So this is cutaway stabilizer. All right, the next one, this is actually, again, from the starter kit, this is no-show mesh stabilizer. And this is fairly similar to the cutaway stabilizer, but the difference is that some stabilizer will show up on the front of the garment if it's like a light color or if this is kind of a transparent fabric, sort of like a see-through, but the no-show will hide better behind fabrics that are like that. So I actually use this stabilizer on white t-shirts and it worked really well. And I even doubled up the layers because it was a dense design. So I am a big fan of this stuff and I've used some of the roll, but I think I'm gonna order more when this runs out because it is a very versatile stabilizer. This is also really soft, so it feels nice against the skin, which again is another thing that you may have to worry about. You don't really want scratchy stabilizer. Like the tearaway stabilizer is, is a little bit itchy feeling. 
But again, that's, you know, that's to be expected. And you can also get something called Tender Touch. Sulky makes it. And I'll link everything below if you would like to order. And I'll, I'll kind of put a guide down below on what I use everything for, just so you can have a written overview of everything we're talking about in this video. But Tender Touch is another type of stabilizer. I don't have any yet, but I'm probably going to get some. If you're doing an item of clothing that's gonna be against your skin, or like say it's for a baby garment, you can cut out this Tender Touch material, iron, fuse it to the back of your garment, and that will keep everything feeling nice and soft so you don't get scratchy from the embroidery thread. So that's another great product if you do a lot of clothing items, but I'm definitely gonna be picking some of that up to try out on some items of clothing, and I'm really excited to keep embroidering stuff. Man, I'm having a really good time. So. We're gonna talk about doing items like towels. I have been doing quite a few different types of towels. I've done kitchen towels, I've done bath towels, and I have another video about two different ways to embroider towels, one in the hoop and then one floating on the hoop. This is a formula I really like. This is called wash away stabilizer, and it looks like cutaway stabilizer, but once you embroider on it, if water hits it, it totally disappears. So I really like this stuff for the back of towels because, and this is one thing that I don't like about a lot of like even store-bought embroidery designs I see on towels, the back has like really cheap looking tearaway stabilizer on it. It's not very neat looking and it looks kind of like a mess. But I really like that with the wash away stabilizer, it completely dissolves so the back especially if you're doing white towels or if you had your bobbin thread match the towel, it's pretty much invisible. So that is cool. And then on the front of the towel, front of the fabric, I always use Sulky Water Soluble Stabilizer. Again, that also washes away. So you have a really neat design and there's no stabilizer in sight. So when I'm doing this in the hoop, obviously I just hoop all of them together Okay, so I'm going to share with you my little method I figured out for embroidering towels, but floating them on the hoop rather than in the hoop. What I've been doing is I've using this Trader Joe's bag as like a mini spray booth. So I'll show you an example. So I first hoop just the wash away stabilizer in there. Then I tape the hoop so that it doesn't get gunk all over it. Put it inside my makeshift spray booth and then spray a little bit of temporary adhesive onto just the stabilizer. Then I put the towel on it and float it on there. So not only am I creating sort of a sticky stabilizer, but it's also wash away. So there will be no residue once everything is done and I've washed off the towel. So that's my little method for doing towels, but floating them. You can also do the same thing for other items and you can use this temporary adhesive to basically turn any stabilizer into a sticky stabilizer. I did purchase some additional stick away, tear away stabilizer, but to be quite honest with you, I have not used it yet, but I do have this, so I might try to use this. And then this is just some additional cutaway stabilizer I bought because I was kind of running low on what I had. I've also gotten some questions on uh, needles and I've actually been using this Oregon brand ballpoint needle. This is actually 80 over 12. I've been using it for both woven and knits and it's been stitching out pretty nicely. I've done hats. So far these have done pretty well and they're not very expensive so go Oregon needles. There is one other option I have not discussed yet and that is one of my favorite things of all time, Tyrael Magic, the magic temporary formula that turns knit fabrics into a woven, at least temporarily. So if I have a knit that's particularly like finicky or not very stable, like more of a thinner knit, I have treated it with the Tyrael Magic first. So you just spray it on your fabric, get it very, very damp, let it dry a little bit and then iron it and then it will not budge. So I haven't used this just as the only stabilizer, but what I'll typically do is treat the fabric with the Tyrael Magic and then also use a cutaway stabilizer or the no-show mesh stabilizer underneath of knit fabrics. And this works pretty well. And if the knit fabric is particularly textured, like I've done a few like uh, peak polo shirts, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I will actually use the water soluble topper on top 
If it's a fabric that has like some texture or isn't very smooth, I'll throw this on top of that as well. So anyways, I just wanted to talk all about stabilizers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Sewing Report for everything sewing, crafts, and DIY projects. Also, if you have any more suggestions for what you'd like to see, I do plan to make more videos about the Brother PE800. So stay tuned and I will see you guys next time. I'm Jennifer Moore.